So I don't know if any of you have noticed, but things are kind of charged politically right now. We're in the middle of a particularly uninspiring and insipid election. Ultranationalism is starting to show a bit of leg in front. And Donald Trump continues to brew a heady beverage of incompetence and autocratic mania. Art flourishes in divisive climates. And motion pictures are particularly adept at communicating complex socio-political ideas to wider audiences. So in this spirit, today I am talking about a film from two years ago, which is about condiments. One condiment in particular, mayonnaise. Up front, full disclosure, I really like mayonnaise. I just want to put that out there because we value transparency and balance here. Unless you're talking about Milo Yiannopoulos, who can just go fuck himself. The Mayo Conspiracy is an expose of the immense conspiracy which has been perpetrated against our civilization by Big Mayo. This concept sounds really stupid. But writers, directors and stars Anthony J. Vollmer and Craig Horowitz That's Horowitz. do a great job of selling it. Partially because this film is genuinely funny and also because it has a complete and total commitment to its premise. It opens with a weighty quote from JFK, who himself may have been a victim of the machinations of Big Mayo. And it goes on to explore the history of mayonnaise from the Seven Years' War through to the Weimar Republic, onto the rise of Hitler, all the way through to the modern day, where we learn that we are still under the thumb of the culinary industrial complex. Volmer portrays M, a fixer for Big Mayo who's now turned whistleblower. Horowitz, That's Horowitz portrays a crusading journalist who challenges society's blind acceptance of mayonnaise through his website holdthatmayo.com. An obvious inspiration for this character is Michael Blancvis, the crusading journalist from The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. However, there is actually a more likely candidate, another crusading journalist who challenges society's blind acceptance of mayonnaise through his website holdthatmayo.com. Craig Horwitz. This is a genuine movement, albeit one with a certain amount of tongue-in-cheek. In 2014, mayonnaise surpassed ketchup as the most popular condiment in the United States. While mayonnaise isn't necessarily unhealthy in moderation, certain figures have shown that, on average, 100 grams of mayonnaise can actually contain at least 600 more calories than an equal serving of ketchup. In a country which has a 35% obesity rate for adults and a 17% obesity rate for children and adolescents, there's legit grounds for a film like this. HoldThatMayo.com and The Mayo Conspiracy are well worth a look because they provide quality satirical commentary on media manipulation, big business and political influence. Also, it's no small irony that they actually provide a heady spoonful of sugar which helps us consider what it is we are putting into our big, fat, disgusting mouths.